so Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, he knows that's against Islam, the monarchy, that the father rule was taken by the son. And then he has problem with alcoholic and he play with the animals like monkey and like gambling, you know. And then he also do the bad things like corruption in the land and injustices. There were no justice in system in the rule of Yazid. And he was not yet totally a ruler because everywhere there was a revolt against him. So people in Kufa, which is the headquarter of Ali that time in Iraq, they wrote the letters to Hussein that you come, we want to make place to you. We want you to be Khalifa. And we don't want to place to Yazid. So he traveled all the way. And then in Kufa in Iraq that time, the governor was Noman bin Bashir. He was not very strict. He was not very evil. So the Yazid knew that. And he replaced uh, Noman bin Bashir to Abdullah bin Ibn Ziyad. And he started to murder those who were revolting. Those who wanted to join the grandson of Prophet Muhammad to revolt against Yazid. So the others were backed out. The others were martyred and killed. And there was no more uh, revolution anymore. Now, the, when Imam Hussein was already received the letter that there are army who's ready for him in Kufa in Iraq, it was changed already. When he's on the way, then he was stopped by the army of Yazid in Karbala. It is a place in near to the river of Euphrates. Uh, Karb means is the pain or sadness, and Bala means a test, the trial. Karb and Bala. He was stopped there. And the army of Yazid, who was uh, led by Amr Saad, his father was a very good man, Saad bin Abi Bakas, who conquered the Persia. But his son was opposite to him because of the greed uh, given by the Yazid that I'm going to make you ruler for the Ray. Ray is Iran today. And then you have to kill Hussein and his uh, companions. So they said, Hussein, if you're going to place Yazid and accept him as your ruler, then we will lead, let you go. If not, then we are going to slaughter you all. Now, Hussein was a grandson of Prophet Muhammad. He cannot do it that I can go against Islam because he cannot give the good example. He wants to give the right example that I will not be accept the injustice. I will not accept the evil. I will not accept the wrong. I will stand for the truth and I will die being a brave person and not be a coward. So he said, no, I will not accept Yazid because he is against Islam. His rule is against Islam. He is Becoming the ruler is against Islam because he, he, he takes the rule of his father, monarchy, which is uh, being uh, demolished in Europe and America today. In all around the world, they are being, kingdoms are being demolished. They don't want the kingdoms anymore because kingdom is always abuses. They get the money of the people, they control the money of the people, then they abuse the money of the people. Even these democratic countries are same like the monarchist because they are also the... The families are controlling the politics. This family and their, their children, then their children, then their children. And they control the money, then do corruption. They give the money to the people to buy the wards. And then when they become the, on the position, they make corruption with the contracts. They earn millions and millions and millions. And they make palaces and expensive cars and uh, bodyguards. And they the same like the system of monarchy. They the same like the kingdoms all around the world. Islam is better than democracy. Islam is... Better than monarchy. Islam is the rule of the creator. It's the same rule of Torah, the same rule of Quran, the same rule of all the scriptures, the same rule given to all the prophets. That it is only one God and you should follow his commands. So that's Islam. There will be no, just, no injustice, no killing, no murder, uh, no fornication, no corruption, no lying. Always be honest. Always honor your words. These are the rules of the beautiful laws of Islam. The life for in life or the, all the punishment for other wrong people. So it's a great law and to successfully uh, rule the world. And there was a peaceful world for more than a thousand years. And Islam proven that Islam can solve all the problems of humanity. Even the Napoleon Bonaparte and then these great uh, warriors, they confess it that if Muhammad can come, he can solve all the problems of the world with the Quran. And if the Quran will be implemented, the Quran can solve all the problems of the world. Pro world is a problem today. There is lots of murder and injustices and hunger. You know, 30 million people died with hunger because of the system of interest, system of usury. The money is a fraudulent. Paper money is a, uh, is a fraud. It was not linked to the gold. So there are lots of injustices because of the world system today.